Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, how's everybody doing today on this bright and early, well, not bright yet, but it will get bright, early Columbus Day, Monday morning. Hope that everybody's doing well, and happy Columbus Day. Uh, listen, I have 10 really, really good ideas about how to stop your wallet from leaking, so let's get right to it. One, take advantage of a combination of free chat services, such as WhatsApp or, let's say, Skype. Myself included, I do love to video chat with family and friends that live far away. And I love to do that in an instant. And it is a great and quick way to organize your time as well as money by saving money on transportation. Next, shop around for insurance. Oh, yeah. There's so many variables. There's so many ways your wallet can leak from insurance. So check them out. Take your time. Do it on a day when you don't have distractions or bells ringing and kids jumping around now that the kids are back at school. If you have that opportunity at home to sit down and really get to it, I strongly suggest that you do. Ask questions to get the best insurance deals. Next, consider using your laptop or computer in place of your TV. Just Opt for an internet-only package. That's an incredible savings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Furthermore, you can avoid all those commercial ads that you would see on TV, right? Next, when it comes to entertaining, organize parties alternately at friends' homes. Let's say you have like four or five friends. You can rotate this. You, they, you know, this used to be done in the good old days, as far back as like even the 40s and the 50s. People would... Um, Share an afternoon table of bridge uh, back in the day. Uh, I like to do the bingo thing, and that's going to be reinstituted real soon. You could get an inexpensive bingo game and, and play for uh, cans of fruit, vegetables, or pasta. And I have a frog in my throat again. Please excuse me. <clears throat> Change of weather. Anyway, uh, but those parties did exist back in the day, and they were wise. People got to see each other without spending a ton. It was a really good, relaxing way to socialize. And you only get to clean up your messy house once. <laughs> uh, by the way, pizza parties are great too. Next, do-it-yourself beauty routine. Hey, you know, I know you've heard this song before. Anybody that does a budget channel or if you're viewing a budget channel, many is the time you've heard about saving money on haircuts and uh, manicures, and it's almost like a, a ritual. But here's the difference. There are so many tutorials on this platform, YouTube, to check into it. You can really hone the art of doing it. Do it, you know, alternately, in between your, you know, professional cut, in between your uh, professional pedicure or manicure. Um, you know, that would work, too. Anything that's a savings. And let me interject. Uh, this video is specific for people who really want to save money, okay? So sometimes they get the, uh, you know, uh, kind of remarks where, well, why not this, why not that? But the idea is, the goal is to save money, which is my channel's mission. Jan from New York City saves money, got it? <laughs> But if you could DIY it for your beauty routine, why not? You know, hey, what the heck? Uh, next, stop to actually think before you buy. Now, I know some of you may have heard this all before. Consider the difference between a want and a need. It took me some time to do that as far as my middle to late 30s. Uh, when I really was like hysterical crying over a silly carousel thing that was 49 bucks. And, uh, and I kept saying, but I need it. <laughs> I look back at that carousel and I laugh. But it was a very good lesson to me. No, I did not need it. I just wanted it. So stop to actually think before buying. Do you really need this thing? Or is it just the want? That's a really good tool to practice with. Next, live without the latest and the greatest for a while. 
must you have the, the 2020 version of a phone, the 2020 version of a car, 2020 version of everything? You know, that can really, really add up. It wouldn't kill you to have the 2017 version of a car or 2019 version of a bike. I'm just saying, just saying, those are tremendous wallet leakers. Because if your goal is to save money, then that's the ticket to get there. It really, really is. And it does add up. Next, check online for local fun and freebie activities. Around here lately, there are a bunch of new store grand openings, for example. It's fun to take advantage. First of all, you want to see the new store, right? Uh, just for the heck of it. And many times they offer like little, you know, coupons or discounts, or freebie gifts or samples. Hey, join in on the fun. And why not? You know, that's totally for free. Looking around is for free. Walking around is for free. So remember that. I'm not saying don't walk around. I'm not saying don't look around. Just be conscientiously cautious of what you purchase. These are for the savers, okay? Okay. Uh, next, let your phone work for you. Back in the old days when I was a child, there was this promotion from the telephone company, and they used to say, Ma Bell used to say, let your fingers do the walking. Well, you know something, that rule applies today. If there's some matter that can be handled on the phone as opposed to taking a physical drive just to sit and accomplish the same goal, if you could do that matter, business matter, by phone, or by video chat, I say go for it. There are options today. Sometimes you just don't know that. So find that out first. Do your research. It is worth it because not only does it add up in saving time, effort, and energy, think about the transportation cost that you are saving. And at $2.75 for a one-way trip on the iron horse here, multiply that a few times out of the month. That really adds up. Not to mention the child care. If you have small children and you have to make that trip and you save that trip, you're saving money on child care. So, another transportation saver, tried and true, carpooling. Carpool, if you're going to the same office and, and folks are coming along the same way and that's within your route, why not share that idea of carpooling? Split up the expense. And here's some more rules of them. Bus and subway instead of a taxi. Bike or walk if you can really do it. Don't become a weekday warrior when you're really not used to it. Because uh, that could be a disaster too. So you don't want to go to work half bent over in pain. <laughs> but better still, if possible, and it is possible, talk to your boss. Try to set up a satellite office at home or at work. I mean, at home and work from home, rather. Uh, try to do that a few days out of the week. If not, maybe you could even do it every day of the week. I'll never forget um, when my uh, husband, God rest his soul, uh, he was starting to decline in his health. And he worked in the financial industry. And he was trudging his way over to, to Wall Street every day. And he really it was like really hard for him to do that. I would suggest, honey, you know, there's a way that you could set up a satellite office, speak to, you know, the people, you know, at your company. And sure as heck, his eyes were so delighted with joy. And within a month, his satellite office was set up uh, at home. And uh, he still got the job done and worked within his physical challenges. And it was one of the greatest things I've ever suggested. And I was working from home, too, at the same time. So we saved a ton of money on transportation, not to mention 10 hours a week traveling. Time is money. It really is. And worse yet, you can never get time back. So that's very important. Now, for those that have child care uh, costs, this is a very important point. Child care can cost more than you are earning. I mean... Sometimes you're just so anxious to get that job because you just don't want to sit home or you can't figure out a way to work from home or working from home is too confining for you and you want to get that outside job, but you need to step back and take a deep breath before you accept a new job offer. If your child care costs more than your effort and salary, ask yourself, seriously, is this worth it? 
So you bite the bullet and try to adapt to working from home or or work part-time outside uh, the home to give you that mental break and part-time from home so as to reduce your child care costs. And if you could get a trusting and loving you know, family member like a grandma, I mean, that, that, you know, won't accept any salary or anything like that, then that would be extremely helpful. Because if you're just working to pay for child care, think again, is it really worth your effort? It wouldn't be for me if that were me. Just saying, just saying. So very, very important. Okay, so there you have it. There are a bunch of wallet leakers that we can actually fix. It's up to us to want to. Again, I say we have to want to do it. And in the meantime, this has been Jaff New York City. And Jaff New York City loves to save money. Jaff New York City saves money is my channel name. Have an amazing day. Have a lovely Christopher Columbus Day. I hope you get to watch the parade on TV. I look forward to seeing the parade. And the parade is going to be in beautiful weather. 72 degrees. How awesome is that? Have a great day.